This is your Daily Mix. The following segment is sponsored by Augustin Farms. Hello, everybody, and welcome again to another edition of the Daily Mix. Today, we're joined by Mark Augustin. He is the uh, president of Augustin Farms. They have been in the emergency food industry for a long, long time. Mark, thanks so much for joining us today. Yeah, and thanks so much for having me. Love the topic today, and uh, it's it's all about uh, what I've done all my life, so excited about it. Yeah, let's talk about that. Quite a history here. Uh, yours is a, a family company, now in its 50th year. Tell us a little bit more about its history, how it got started, and how it's come to the company that it is today. Yeah, pretty amazing. Started in 1972. It started in the garage of our home in Salt Lake City, Utah. Uh, we started out with a dry milk alternative, uh, powdered milk product, but it propelled us into the dry food space of shelf stable food products. So what we're looking for is anything that has a 20 plus year shelf life. Augustine Farms then built a profile of fruits, vegetables, protein, soup, sauces, all the above. Uh, really my dad's biggest uh, success story for him in getting people prepared in the country was during Y2K. That was in 1999. Is really when the platform became mainstream. After that mainstream platform, we went from Y2K to one of the biggest events America's ever seen, and that was 9-11. And then if you follow history, you can see these events that people have felt an insecurity about. They felt like maybe the peace wasn't there that they used to have. We went into the pandemic last year and saw a supply chain crisis. We saw grocery stores empty. Helping people prepare, educating and share the message is really what Augustine Farms is all about. Yeah, and when, when your dad started this company 50 years ago, this was kind of a, a novel idea, but after some of those events you just mentioned, that's not the case anymore. Uh, a lot of people, what we've done a lot of studies and we're finding out that 70% of the purchases of Augustine Farms are in part of a consumption period in a weekly food plan. So it's no different than the great foods you're buying and uh, off the dry shelf. If you're making pastas, noodles, stuff at home, Augustine Farms does that too. But we control the environment the food's stored in. So we get extended shelf life. Our best shelf life is over a 30-year period. So we want people to practice their preparedness. And that's why we're seeing the consumption rate. We're seeing economic uh, buster of Augustine Farms now provides food for not just disaster, but economic hardships all the above. So it's it's becoming more and more of a common thing for people to practice their preparedness, use their preparedness in their lifestyles on a daily basis. Emergencies, catastrophes happen all the time. A lot of people will say, well, if that happens, the government will help us out here. What's your, what's your opinion on that? The government will get to you, but will they get to you in time? Do you want to sit around and wait for someone to help you? Or do you want to have the tools to help yourself when your kids are looking at you and saying, I'm hungry, you know, take take preparedness into your control. How should families prepare themselves with emergency foods? How much will they need? What exactly do they need? Can you give us some hints there? How many people do I want to prepare for? How long do I want to prepare for? And what types of food will my family eat? Or what type of food do I want to eat during that time? And so really it's calories by day. Let's kind of get an idea of what you think your preparedness plan would look like and go from there. What kind of foods do you have available? We have freeze dried fruits and vegetables from bananas, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, to corn, peas, carrots, you name it on the vegetable sector. Uh, we have milks, dairies, proteins, there's entrees, soups, sauces, gravies, desserts. It's pretty awesome. We've, I've spent my life developing that recipe portfolio because I knew it's what I would want or want to serve my family uh, if I ever got into an issue or a crisis situation. All right. How do families get in touch with you? How do they order your products? Do you guys, are these in retail stores? Is it all online? Amazon has the largest selection of Augustin Farms products. Walmart.com has a very large selection. And AugustinFarms.com also has additional items for you as well. So there's many platforms, brick and mortar or online, any major retailer, Augustin Farms is there. All right, keeping us safe, keeping us fed in emergencies for the past 50 years. Mark Augustin, he's the president of Augustin Farms. Thanks so much for joining us. And again, I'm gonna give you that website, augustinfarms.com. Mark, thanks so much for joining us. Yes, thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. All righty. Thank you so much, everyone, also for joining us. And we'll see you next time with another edition of The Daily Mix. The following segment is sponsored by Augustin Farms.